Hello friends, here is a simple mathematical puzzle for you. Can you find this area in the orange? Let me explain the problem. This is a square and by square you know that it's all four sides are same, equal length and also each of the angles are 90 degrees. So this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. All the four angles are 90 degree and all sides are equal in length. So in this case, uh, these are all the midpoints of this side. So if this length is let's say 10, then this side also it's 10. So total side length will be 20. So these are the midpoints. So this length is same as this. And this is also a midpoint of this side. So this is also same as this. And this is same as this. And similarly here. So all of these four points are midpoints of the sides of the square. And there is some point inside this square and which is connecting to all the midpoints. So we have divided this square into four regions of different uh, sizes. For three of them, I have given you the area. For this region, the area is 15 meters square. Here the area is 24 meters square. Here it's 12 meters square but I have not given you the area of this shaded region and your task is to find out this. You also don't know the side length or anything. You are just given these three areas using that and that uh, these are the midpoints. You have to find this. So let's pause the video, try it for some time, then I will be back with some hint. So uh, now is the time for hint. If you are able to solve it, then it's very good. Uh, you are among some of the top people. And now let me uh, give one background here. Uh, so first of all, you will need area of a triangle. So just a brief recap. This is a triangle with three sides and this length, we call it base. And this is the height. So from the third vertex, so take any two vertices, join them, take them as base. The same thing you can do with any two vertex, but let's take these two vertices. So this will be base and whatever is the third vertex, draw a perpendicular to the base. So this length will be height and the area will be given as half times base times height. So I give you the formula of area of a triangle. Now, can you use this area of a triangle to find this? Uh, let me give you another hint. So, what if I join these vertices of a squares with this internal point? So, I have done one step for you. You have to do the remaining. So again, pause, pause the video and think about it for some time and then uh, come back when you have either solved it or you are stuck. Now, uh, let me solve the problem for you. We have said that these are equal. Since this is the midpoint, it divides equally these, this side into two parts. Similarly, this is same as this and this is same as this one and this is same as this one. Now I have given you that area of a triangle is half times base time height. So if you see this uh, triangle, this one, let's call it A. So this is the base and uh, its height will be the third vertex drop a perpendicular. It can even go outside this. So this is the height for this triangle A. Now you look at triangle B, this complete triangle B. So what is its base? Its base is same as this. So if this length is L, this is also L since this is the midpoint. So its base is same as this and its height is also same as this, this height. So area of this is same as this. So A is equal to B. Similarly, if this is C, this is D, you see that base is same. In fact, base will be same for all the triangles. So we will just look at height. Its height will be, I'm looking at this part C. From this point, perpendicular to this side. And similarly for D, it will be the same. 
So C is same as D. By the same logic, E and F, E will be same as F. And this is G and H. G is same as H. So A plus C is equal to 15. D plus E equal to 24. And B plus H is equal to uh, 12. So I have just written whatever is given in the problem. Now we have to find F plus G. F plus G will be this shaded area, this triangle plus this triangle. So how we will find that? So how can we find F plus G? So first let's write the sum of all these. So we sum A plus C plus D plus E plus B plus H equal to, I have added all the three. So A plus C, D plus E, B plus H equal to uh, this is 36 plus 15 is 51. So this is given to you. I have added all of these three areas. And what is A equal to? A is equal to B. Uh, so let's group them together. A and B are same. So we write 2A. Then what are same? Uh, C and D are same. So we can write it as 2C and then E is same as F and H is same as G equal to 51. Now you see F plus G, this is the required area which we need to calculate. So keep it in the left side, send everything to the right. So F plus G is equal to 51 minus 2 times, I take 2 common here a plus c and what is a plus c it's 15 so 2 times 15 is 30 so 51 minus 30 which is equal to 21 so this area will be 21 so i hope you enjoyed this problem it was a simple uh, geometrical problem